from CN8, the Comcast Network. This is Comcast Newsmakers. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have something in my throat. Could you have them start it again? CN8, the Comcast Network. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hello, and thanks for joining us. I'm Joel Mahan. This hour's newsmaker is Lisa Smith. She's a member of the organization called First Signs, and today we're talking about developmental disabilities, including autism. First of all, welcome. Thank you very much for coming into Comcast Newsmakers. Thank you. What are some of the signs of developmental disabilities if somebody's watching at home? If uh, your child has a developmental disability such as autism, which is one of the more common ones, your child may not be speaking um, or, or may start speaking very late, may speak in a strange language, their own language, um, may not socialize well with other, other children. Those are just a few. Examples. Could you tell us about your organization and some of the goals that you're trying to do in terms of education and in terms of helping doctors and parents and everybody recognize and identify the type of warning signs that you have? Well, you know, uh, one in 17 percent, uh, 17 percent, I'm sorry, of uh, all children under the age of 18 have a developmental disorder. Less than 2 percent of these children are diagnosed before age three. And uh, what our goal is, is to help parents and doctors recognize the early warning signs so that we can get these kids help as soon as possible. Now you do say that it is very important to recognize the signs before age three, and part of the reason for that is a financial reason as well, right? Yes, um, states have, an er have early intervention programs. If a child is diagnosed under the age of three, they're entitled to state programs and funds um, that children over age three are not entitled to. Now, as a child becomes older and grows up, you say that it's harder to reach the children. Could you explain what that's about? Sure. Uh, specifically with autism, um, the earlier you can reach out to these children, the better, because uh, it's, it's a disorder where a child turns inward. And um, if you can't get them to communicate and understand what's happening around them um, early on, it, it makes it that much harder. Everyone's seen the movie Rain Man. He was... Uh, he was autistic and he was very far gone and uh, that's ex it's an extreme but that's what can happen. This is the third most common of all child developmental disorders and I understand you were personally touched by the situation with your own relative. Yes, my nephew is uh, now four and he's got uh, pervasive developmental delay which is an autism spectrum disorder and uh, he's been in early intervention for about a year and a half and uh, he's, he's actually coming along very well. You were at a picnic? We're at a picnic and he, um, an example of, of one of the social problems they had, all the other children were running back and forth on this side of the yard and he wanted to run but he was on the other side of the yard running back and forth by himself and having a great time but he didn't know how to socialize with the other kids. And that would be one of the signs somebody watching at home would understand and recognize the importance of recognizing these signs, as I mentioned earlier in the conversation. Now, if somebody wants to join the organization or wants more information and needs somebody to reach out to in the community, right. including your organization, perhaps you could leave us with a phone number and information. Sure, that phone number is 877-CN8-LIVE. And um, if they call up, we can, uh, we can help them out, refer them to people in their area that maybe can, can help out. Very good. Well, I'd like to thank you very much. Thank this you. hour's newsmaker has been Lisa Smith. She's a member of the First Signs. That's an organization. I'm Joel Mahan for Comcast Newsmakers. And for more information, make sure to join us on CN8, the Comcast Network.